Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And also welcome back to another letter of the week video. This week we focused on letter F. Here is our first activity. We decided to use our imagination, lay down a blue blanket, and we went fishing. This was actually Hunter's idea, and he remembered he had this game. He got it for Christmas, like, last year or the year before that, but I like it because it's magnetic. There are numbers on each of them, and they're all different colors. There is a spinner that comes with this game, so you spin it and it has a worm on there, so whatever the number the worm lands on is the fish that you go and fish for. And I also like to use these without even doing the game. I like to sit on the floor and do color recognition, um, numbers, you can match the numbers and match the colors. So you could do a lot with this one fishing game. For this next activity, you need a piece of paper for each child doing it, pick some flowers outside in your garden, and then get some paints out for your child to use. And we are doing flower prints. My kids love to paint, so anytime we have the chance to paint, we paint and a learning experience that's a plus for any mom so while we were doing this activity we talked about the letter F a little bit the flower starts with F we talked about the colors that they were using and how each flower was making a different print so this was fun to do For this next activity, we focused on farm animals, and that obviously starts with F, but I made this activity when I was back in school um, for my class in college, and now I just kind of use it just to play games with my kids and whatnot, but we are focusing on farm animals and the sounds that the animals make, so I'm just reading made these flashcards that just had farm words on it, like barn, and grass, and then some farm animals like cow, chicken, bird, and just stuff like that. So again, I'm just reading the word and Hunter is matching the picture to the word. And here is the foam activity that I was talking about in my last vlog if you watched that video. This was so funny because Hunter was just scared to touch it and then he made um, Paxton feel scared to touch it so I don't know it was just kind of funny to me. I can leave the recipe that I used down in the, in the description box for you guys to use if you want to play with your kiddos. They kind of just made a mess and rubbed it all over their stomachs and arms and legs, so it does get messy. So I would 
play it outside if you decide to play with this foam. And here we go again with my books that I read for my kids. I just chose some that we had um, with the letter F in them. And these two bottom ones are pretty much for Paxton to recognize words and pictures. Like I said in all my other videos, I like to read books to the boys for both nap time and bedtime. They love to read books and look at books. Hunter has always loved books ever since he was little. He will sit down and listen to a book. Um, Paxton loves books, but he just doesn't sit down and read them with me during this time. As you can see, he's just messing around in the background trying to get comfortable for nap time right now. But he does grab a book and look at it while I'm reading to Hunter as well sometimes. Here we go again, doing another craft for the letter F. I took a paper plate and I cut it into a circle and then we're just gluing construction paper on it. I won't tell you guys what we're making just yet. I'll have you kind of guess. And then I do show you at the end once it's all put together. But I am letting Hunter cut out all of his own pieces because he will be doing a lot of cutting on his own when he goes to preschool. He has a cutting class activity on Fridays when he goes, so I am just having him practice a little bit more than he does on his own anyway. But I am also helping Paxton glue his pieces. I'm letting him choose where he wants to stick them. Um, I'm telling him either the top or the bottom and stuff, but he puts them down wherever he wants to put them. I think that gave him some control over his own activity there. Alright, so if you guys haven't guessed yet what we made, I'm showing you now, it is a fish! So now I'm just helping Hunter glue on his pieces, because if you have a toddler, you know that when they use glue, they just squirt out a big glob everywhere, and it's not a fun mess to clean up. So I'm just helping him out a little bit. But he also gets to decide where he wants the pieces to go. And then I'm just helping him out a little bit to cut out the mouth of his own fish. Just reviewing the letter F, tracing and writing the F's in his workbook here, talking about them, and explaining a little bit of how to write a lowercase F. He does struggle a little bit with it, but he does just fine. They still look like lowercase F's. But the one thing I like that we got from the library lately are these whiteboard books and so he's been doing these like every day he loves them so we're just finding the letter F and writing those but that is all that I have for you for this letter of the week with letter F 
please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in next week's video.